In this problem, we're going to look at some of the behavior of a polynomial function in factored form, looking at some zeros, looking at some n behavior. So we see that the figure sh is shown the polynomial function g. Which of the following could be an expression for g? And we have 0.25 doesn't really change much. It's a vertical stretch. So I'm going to ignore that. But we have x minus 5, x minus 1, x plus 8 x plus 5, x plus 1, x minus 8, x minus 5 squared, x minus 1, x plus 8, x plus 5 squared, x plus 1, x minus 8. And these pieces right here are really all about the zeros. So I see 1, 5, and 8. So that leads me to believe that this is meant to be at 1, this is meant to be at 5, this is meant to be at negative 8. And we know um, zero product property, factors, uh, fundamental theorem of algebra, that if I have zeros at negative 8, 1, and 5, that means that I must have factors of x plus 8, x minus 1, and x minus 5. Therefore, when you put in negative 8, negative 8 plus 8 is 0, so forth and so on. One more piece here. So I see that around negative 8, I cross the axis, which means that this must be to an odd power. Around positive 1, I cross the x-axis. That means that this must be to an odd power. But at 5, I don't actually cross the x-axis. I am above the x-axis. I'm still above the x-axis, which means I did not change signs. And I know that if I have an even power, I will not change signs. So let's put a little squared right here. And let's see if this is good enough to get there. So x minus 5 squared, x minus 1, x plus 8. My answer is C.